Let's go over some exercises for Myralgia Parasitica, and that's entrapment of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, which is just a sensory nerve that innervates the front and the side of your thigh. If you have Myralgia Parasitica, you probably have tingling, burning, pain, just a weird feeling on the outside of your hip here. So let me show you where the tissues are that we're gonna work on. So if we look at the side of your hip right here, this is your TFL. It's actually the muscle portion of the IT band. So you can see the IT band here and the TFL there. And then if we jump over here, I'll show you, this is your hip flexor. So iliopsoas, and it's gonna go right underneath that inguinal ligament, which is gonna come around right here. So the first thing I like to do if you're doing stuff at home and you have a hyperbole or a theragun or something is to just warm it up a little bit, go right over that TFL and part of that hip flexor there. So I'll show you how to do that. Find your hip bone here. Just below it. Then move to the inside, right around that inguinal ligament. So a couple of minutes of that will be great just to warm it up, to loosen it up. It's usually gonna feel pretty good too. I'm gonna to show you the tension for lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, and then I'm gonna show you flossing. And they're both really similar, so let's go over them quick. You're gonna go face down here on a soft surface. I'm just laying on the Cairo table. First thing you wanna do, push yourself up just like this, and in order to do the tensioner, you're gonna look down as you flex your knee, and then release down as you flex your knee. If you get any pain with it, then you might want to avoid it. It should just tension it. Don't want to have pain that raises your pain level three points on the pain scale. Now we're going to go ahead and do the floss. So very similar. Push yourself up. But as we bend our knee, we're going to look up. And then down just like this. So your head and your foot are moving closer together. So those will free up that lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, but we also want to do some other stuff in order to create hip stability in here. An easy one is a triplanar psoas stretch. You can do this standing. So if it's my right side, I'm just going to bring this leg back. Then I'm going to move forward with this heel planted on the floor, put my right arm up, Turn and bend away, and then release. Forward, turn and bend away, and release. You can hold this in that position if you want to. That'll really create a stretch, but I like to make it an active stretch so we're actually moving with it. And bend away. So that one's a really nice one to bring some flexibility to the area. Then we wanna do some hip stability stuff. So there's a ton of things we can do for hip stability. The easiest one that you can do at home is just a simple bridge. So let me show you that quick. We're gonna go ahead and just do it on the table. You could just do it on the floor. You want to put this band right here above your knees. Lay back, hands on the side of the table here, feet about hip distance apart. Contract your core in, so you're pushing your spine and your belly button down towards the table. Then lift your butt up off the floor and maintain tension in that band. Hold for a second and relax. Core activation, up, squeeze the butt and relax. If that's pretty easy and it doesn't wear you out, then you can move to a single leg. We're just gonna bring one of your legs straight. Same thing, core activation, up, then relax. And then the other side, core activation, up, relax. So that's three exercises that you can do, actually four, a nerve floss, a nerve tension, a stretch for the psoas, and a hip stability exercise. So start on those and know that 90% of these will resolve without surgery, without drugs, without injection. So you've got a really good chance of getting better. Make sure that you check out our next video where I'm gonna show you how to do some soft tissue um, release that I do in my office for Myralgia Parasthetica.